got to give Nintendo credit. They have one heck of a design department because this is the Wii video game controller, which looks a heck of a lot different than any other game controller I've ever played with. And it's, uh, you know, it feels more like a lightsaber or a television remote than a game controller. Yet somehow, this is a brilliant little piece of machinery that works very well for a variety of different games of all different genres. And let's take a close look at this because it's, well, it's really fascinating. It's got blinking blue lights on it. Who doesn't like blinking blue lights? I desperately wanted to hate this thing when I first saw it because it doesn't resemble any video game controller I've ever seen and it's so different how could it possibly be any good. I figured it was just some marketing gimmick from the marketing masters at Nintendo but in fact this is a brilliant piece of machinery that works with uh, with magic which is short for I'm not entirely sure how it works but it uses a sensor bar on top of the television you can swing it around, it senses your motion. And after playing Wii Sports Bowling and Wii Sports Golf, I, I have to say this is just terrific when it's used properly by the game designers. And I'll get into more of that in a bit. But when used properly, this is an amazing, powerful piece of video game controlling equipment. And Nintendo, who, you know, when they went so far as to actually make this thing work sideways for old school video games with their virtual console. When playing it sideways, you use a D-pad here, and then you can use the buttons over there for shooting or jumping, depending on what game you're playing. And I think the D-pad is a bit small, at least for adult hands, for playing games on virtual console. The buttons, the buttons are very good, of course. And the whole, the whole style of it is somewhat awkward, yet it's functional. If you have a Wii and you want to download a virtual console game, you don't need to spend any more money on anything. You can use this to play it. It will work properly. You know, better controllers out there like the Wii Classic controller for those kind of games, but this this still works. It has a trigger down there so you can use it for shooting things or you can use it in golfing games for gripping it and swinging. And this is used in a variety of different ways. I like that it has a speaker on it, which they also use in, in different ways for various games. That's kind of neat. There's a power button up there, A button, home, plus, minus, one and two. I have mine and it's rubber coating nicknamed the Wii Condom, which is ribbed for more grip, and uh, that's cushioned here, so you can take this thing and, um, well, I guess if you accidentally throw it at the television or your dog or a window, it's, you know, it should bounce off of it and not destroy anything. Uh, it does actually provide more grip and gives a little more weight to the unit, which is not bad. You can also take the rubber thing off, and this is what it looks like. Without that, I have two of them. The Wii only comes with one. You can find these newer used out there, 35 40 bucks. It has a little strap on the end of it, so you can strap it around your wrist, and supposedly that'll help it not go flying off and, and puncturing somebody's forehead. Actually, I like the rubber thingy on there because it does give more grip, but when uh, the, Wii, the Wii designers were thinking of this thing, they went beyond just a controller. You use this in a variety of other controls, like the Guitar Hero control, you actually insert the Wii, or one of the most ingenious things I've seen out there, the Wii steering wheel for a Wii Mario Kart. Let's take a look at this. You just fit it in here, you slide the strap through there, lock it into place, push it down. The uh, little button back here uses that trigger thing, which is pretty clever, and it senses the motion of the steering wheel. I'll do a separate review of the wheel itself, but this thing is pretty ingenious when you really get down to it. Leave it to the imaginative fellows at Nintendo to create this and have it be so successful because really it looks so bizarre. It looks like you should be operating a television or a slaying Jedi. The Wii controller is best used in games where you swing things or throw things and even then I, it, it's really up to the game itself and the programmers to to use it most effectively. I don't care for it very much in shooters and when you, you know, games like Metroid Prime Corruption which are pretty good games, they use this thing with the nunchuck controller and I'll get into this in a separate review. I'm not a huge fan of pointing this at the television and using it. I'd rather swing it around but you know, some people actually love it for pointing it at the television because they say it works more like a mouse. You know, that's really subjective but you know, this, is, this is fascinating and although the Wii itself has its pluses and minuses, you know, it's not for everybody. This controller, you have to at least give them credit. This is an ingenious design. 
and uh, that's it. That's the Wii controller. If you have a Wii, you're really going to need one of these things to play it. What they need to do is release a special edition one of these things that looks exactly like Luke Skywalker's lightsaber. That's what I want. I also want it to have a green lightsaber beam come out of it and give me the ability to go and attack Jedi. So if anyone can do that, it's Nintendo. Please make me a lightsaber. It, it can also play Wii games, that's cool, but really I just want a lightsaber. So come on, make me one uh, with a green blade, please.